Hi everyone, how are you all? Uh, in today's video, it's a bit uh, bad news because uh, again, if you hadn't heard this announcement, I'm going to share to you. Uh, it was posted today in the official Step and uh, Discord server at around uh, 3 p.m. my time that um, Step and is not compatible anymore with some phones and particularly they can now only support iOS 13 and above for iPhones and Android 9 for uh, uh, for Androids. So basically, they are the uh, phones that was released after 2015. So if you're an iPhone user, which still having an iOS of 12 and below and Android 8 and below, it means you can no longer use the Step N app. And as they had explained here, uh, it's all about they're improving the app and obviously uh, with all these improvements that they had introduced with the app, it also requires higher specifications for phones. And I think on the technical perspective of uh, enhancing the phones, that's pretty understandable. However, I also feel bad, feel bad that um, uh, if it, I also feel bad for all of those who were affected by this announcement, uh, mainly because it was again announced with no enough notification because um, I don't know what's been happening on the background if they had not anticipated this uh, high level of requirement in terms of phone um, specification. So I feel bad for those who are affected. And even myself, uh, I've asked myself if I'm in their situation, uh, am, I, am I okay to upgrade? Um, because, you know, some people, they're just happy with simple features. So that's why they try to stick as much as they can with their phones. Especially, I'm going to show to you, for example, I just went to uh, uh, online and check, say, for iOS 13. Uh, the iPhones that are compatible with iOS 13 and above is iPhone 8, iPhone X, XR, XS, etc. And when you look on the prices of these phones, they're pretty much expensive. The cheap ones are refurbished, so we don't know how really good they are. So pretty much you need to shell out um, around 250 for the uh, refurbished version. Obviously, if you're uh, wanting for the brand new, you may need to shell out like almost $500. So let's go to the Android phones. So in here, these are the different um, Android 9 phones. So pretty much you're looking around possibly if you're a Lenovo, but if you're a Samsung user, which is pretty popular, it, it, it ranges as well. And again, it depends on it depends on where you, you buy. Uh, are you buying it with a plan? So in, in, in short, guys, this is uh, really um, bad news for some of us. But uh, at least you're now informed. And now the decisions is with you if you want to upgrade. Um, other option that you can do is you um, borrow your uh, family's uh, phone when you're doing the walking. Although sometimes, although most of the time this is very inconvenient because you don't know if your uh, housemate or uh, family is inside your house by the time that you have time to go out. So I hope you can do something about it, especially if you had not ROI yet. If you had ROI, you had an option to sell, or then again you have an option as well to upgrade. So yes, it's one of those things that we need to bear with this um, technology, with this project. And I just hope for, for Step N that uh, in the future, they will give us enough time once they really need to wipe out some of the models that are not already uh, um, supported. Um, thankfully, mine can still support iOS 15. And, and I don't know with the 16, if my phone is still included uh, in iPhone. But thankfully, uh, mine is still OK. Otherwise, I, I don't know if I'm also prepared to um, upgrade at the moment. Because for me, my phone is still perfectly working fine. All the features that I need are still there. Camera is all right. You know, um, internet speed is all right. The memory, everything, pretty much. And I, I, I don't think I'll be able to upgrade in like two or three years time. So, but but I'm also planning to upgrade mainly because of the 5G. 
network. I think once this country is um, fully uh, deployed with 5G, then I'm considering to upgrade. So that's possibly in two or three years time. Okay, guys, it's a bit of uh, bad news, but again, we cannot do anything about it. So let's finish with the comment of the day. And this is from Ibrahim Rahal. And he has a good suggestion regarding minting scroll. As you can see, there was so much effort being spent in composing this um, um, this um, uh, suggestion, but I don't know if again because they the, the developers already closed the suggestion um, uh, form. But I think you can still post this. I, I'll show you guys where you can post properly your suggestions if you have something in mind. Uh, go here to the step and um, Discord. There's a server here called Ideas and Feedback. So as you can see, a lot of people are posting their. Um, suggestion even the uh, form is already closed so i'm pretty sure the developers are still looking on this so you can simply type here your feedback so possibly now what i can do is um regarding this phone issue what i can say here is uh, i hope we receive enough notifications or warnings for future phones not supported. So again, K-I-S-S, -S, KISS, keep it short and simple. I'm pretty sure I, uh, they, they know already what, what I'm wanting with my message. And then I type enter, and that's pretty much it. OK, guys, thank you so much. It's not a good news, but hopefully there's an AMA that will be happening in five minutes time as I finish this video. It will be uh, 12 uh, p.m. UTC uh, in, in, in our time, so 10 p.m. here in mine. So let's go and um, hopefully there are some new uh, enhancement that they will reveal on this AMA and I will going to review that and hopefully give some analysis for the next video. Until next time, guys, let's go and walk.